Zagabas Orville opener weekend. That's a really bad way to put it. But it's Yagabas Lake Orville weekend. Um, it's currently 918. Kitty pole. We got the whole lineup going already. But got a little friendly challenge between some of the guys. Just fun challenge. Biggest fish on the kitty pole. We got about a five hour drive to get up to Warville. It's about four hours and 45-ish minutes, not including the gas stops, good bathroom breaks, stay awake, jumping jacks. We'll see what happens. some old stuff here and I don't know what's gonna happen should be a pretty interesting day I'm seeing some pretty good fish down here on live scope uh, last year when we fished this we didn't have live scope to to really dial in anything second time ever here no expectations not trying to win you know if if we so happen to catch some fish and do well then we do well but not trying to win at all um, just out here fun fishing more so than anything the weather is supposed to come down pretty hard on us around 10 o'clock ish 10 to 1 ish so we'll give a good old college try hopefully hopefully put a limit on the board this line's in Spotted bass are notorious for jumping. I mean, jumping a lot. Okay, there he goes, trying to jump. 14 and a half. Fifteen and a quarter.
know if you have We'll measure all of them though. Four and a quarter. I got something figured out now. Good one. We're gonna try to get the limit out of the way. And then we're gonna go look for bigger fish. We're almost there. We'll probably end up just scoping the entire day. It seems like our better quality of fish are suspended. Our goal is to look for those suspended ones. It doesn't matter how deep they are. The pattern for me that seems to be working the best is an ice jig and of course a Demiki rig, uh, live scope fishing, which is crazy. I've never ever quite had such a successful day of live scope fishing. It's specifically for suspended fish. And on my home body of water, it's ridiculously difficult to get these suspended fish to bite. And for whatever reason, these spotted bass just seem to love it. I don't know how to explain it. But uh, essentially two patterns, um, dead stick and a worm, seems to be the most consistent bite for me, for the bottom fish. And then for the suspended fish, a ice jig and also a Dominky rig. That's kind of how we're getting the bulk of our bites. The warm bite on the bottom seems to be kind of inconsistent. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of small ones mixed in. So they're eating it, but they're just nipping at it. Typical, you know, spotted bass, cold water eating habits, I guess you could say. I haven't had to throw a jig yet, um, but we'll probably stick with what we found for the suspended fish anywhere from about 10-ish foot of water all the way down to about 50. We're just gonna look for those cruisers. And yeah, you know, we could either just sit here. This is just a point that basically is part of the, the main channel. And the fish is just cruising in and out. We could either sit here and just wait for them to come by or maybe we'll just slowly cruise up and down this area and, and look for fish to target specifically. But there's a bite. Oh, he dropped it. Nope, he still got it. That's our fifth one. All right, time to go look for bigger ones. That's our limit, the like damn quarter. Two hours into fishing. So, so now, we're gonna put this guy, this bad boy away for now, until we see some a bigger fish to, to throw at. But for now, we're gonna go look around for bigger fish. What I will do actually is just clean this stuff up a little bit. Just to make a little bit more room for us. And I want to go chase bigger ones.
cool. I'm trying my best here to get a coal, but it's not happening. I just want one coal. And well, two coals actually. If I could get two coals, it'll go really long ways. It's two o'clock. We got about one hour left and we're giving out all the marbles. We're trying as hard as we can to get bit, but well, not get bit. To catch the right one is the best way to say it. And we're just not catching the right one. I don't know how else to say it. Essentially, it was an extremely long two days. We didn't have too bad of a tournament, in my opinion. There could have been better decisions made so that we could have had a better finish. I've never really gotten on a really good live scope bite like that. I've never had much success doing it. We found that pattern, I would say, pretty early in the day. It's just we weren't able to capitalize on it because not enough time on the water basically that was actually my first day where i saw live scope work really effectively lack of experience i guess you could say or lack of confidence in what i was doing probably hurt our finish more so than anything nonetheless no complaints for me i had a great time saw beautiful weather it rained yes it was cloudy yes but still beautiful nature 